Welcome back everyone to the Audacious Money Witch channel where we talk about investing and trading stocks, bonds, and crypto assets around the world. Snowflake's retail investors probably have mostly sold out by now as the snow stock continued its streak of disappointing quarterly results. Sentiment has already been negative going into Q2 earnings resulting from a cybersecurity incident where data from millions of Snowflake users have been compromised. The fact that this didn't result from the breach of Snowflake security systems provided huge relief, although it was enough for generating negative publicity. This has been worsened by increasing competitive threats as top competitor Databricks announced impressive growth numbers for the first half. In addition, Palantir stock will finally be added into the S&P 500 and has rewarded investors massively due to its excellent performance. Last but certainly not least, Berkshire Hathaway recently selling out of Snowflake shares. I, however, think this makes for a ripe opportunity to buy this underrated growth stock. So why do I want to load up on a bunch of Snowflake shares at this time? Well, let me explain. I will first talk about the fundamental business. Then I will speak about the financials. At the end, I will talk about the technical setup as confirmation why I loaded a bunch of snow stock. Reporting a softer Q1 number than expected under such circumstances couldn't go without consequences. After reassessing my thesis around the company, I concluded that bearish arguments like slowing top-line growth, decreasing margins, high stock-based compensation, expensive valuation, and increasing competitive threats are not strong enough to outweigh the bull case for the company. There are more than 15 product capabilities being made generally available on the Snowflake platform, and the upside from the new products when ramped is also expected to materialize next year. Over the long run, I remain confident that Snowflake will remain the number one cloud data warehouse, benefiting from the ongoing transition to the cloud. This core service is extended by an increasing number of additional ones, which could contribute to revenue growth meaningfully next year, providing a strong setup for the company for the close future. With all that bad news out of the way, I believe investor sentiment towards Snowflake has reached peak desperation, which could also support a turnaround for stock price. For Q2 earnings, it is showing all the right signs of healthy results in the near term and beyond. I am pleased to see that the firm signed two nine-figure deals in the quarter, indicating massive potential when other customers' workloads go into production. In addition, I continue to believe there is ample upside from my $183 fair value estimate given the early seedlings of a network effect that I see in Snowflake's smaller data marketplace business. Despite the solid quarter and upped guidance, shares are down 8% upon results from an already undervalued price, likely influenced by overall concern that volatility in the company's lock-in free consumption based revenue model brought on by the weaker macro environment will have long-term implications. I continue to believe the market is significantly discounting Snowflake's potential by underestimating three key areas. Data sphere, meaning total data in existent growth. How differentiated Snowflake's technology is and the powerful potential of Snowflake's small but mighty data marketplace. I believe the amount of data collected and analytical computations on such data in the cloud will continue to dramatically increase. These trends should increase usage of Snowflake's platform in the years to come, which will in turn strengthen Snowflake's stickiness 
and compound the benefits of its network effect. In over 10 years, Snowflake has culminated into a force that is far from melting. As enterprises continue to migrate workloads to the public cloud, significant obstacles have arisen, including hefty data transformation costs, breaking down data silos to create a single source of truth, and creating scalable performance. Snowflake seeks to address these issues with its platform, which gives its users access to its data lake, warehouse, and marketplace on various public clouds. I believe Snowflake has a massive runway for future growth and should emerge as a data powerhouse in the years ahead. Traditionally, data has been recorded in and accessed via databases, yet the rise of the public cloud has resulted in an increasing need to access data from different databases in one place. A data warehouse can do this, but still does not meet all public cloud data needs, particularly in creating artificial intelligent insights. Data Lake solved this problem by storing raw data that is ingested into AI models to create insights. These insights are housed in a data warehouse to be easily cured. Snowflake offers a data lake and warehouse platform which cuts out significant costs of ownership for enterprises. Even more valuable, in my view, is that Snowflake's platform is interoperable on numerous public clouds. This allows workloads to be performed without significant effort to convert data lake and warehouse architectures to work on different public clouds. It's true that Snowflake's significant investments impact profitability in a negative way in the short run, but over the medium term, they ensure the continued high growth profile for the company. Even at a scale of $3 billion product revenue for fiscal year 25. Based on this, I believe that those bearish arguments which criticize decreasing margins are not well supported as these short-term sacrifices are required for long-term success. Based on that, the deterioration in margins is obvious compared to the previous year. But that's how investment mode at an R&D oriented company looks like. There are two topics that are usually highlighted by bears when it comes to Snowflake. Our high stock based compensation and rich valuation. Regarding SBC, it's true that Snowflake awards employees hundreds of millions of dollars in the form of restricted stock units each quarter but this is compensated by share repurchases on the other hand. In Q2, Snowflake incurred SBC-related charges of $373 million. Meanwhile, it repurchased shares worth $400 million, effectively cancelling the effect of dilution for the quarter. Of course, this is not the case each quarter, but it shows the company's commitment to maintain annual dilution around 2%, which is not a big sacrifice for shareholders in my opinion, in the case of high growth SaaS company. Looking at the valuation of shares they trade currently at 11.2 times sales, compared to other leading SaaS companies like Datadog, CrowdStrike, or service now. Trade at a forward PS multiple of around 15 to 16 while Snowflake's valuation is lagging this peer group by 34 to 45%. Just a note, Palantir is now trading at a forward price to sales ratio of 26. Based on the rule of 40 metric, revenue growth rate plus FCF margin. There is no significant difference between these companies when looking at 2024 estimates. Snowflake Rule of 52, ServiceNow Rule of 53, Datadog Rule of 55, CrowdStrike Rule of 62, but expected to be lowered due to outage. 
This confirms my initial thesis that investor pessimism towards Snowflake could have reached its peak. Throughout my 16 years of experience in the markets taught me an important lesson. You don't want to follow any investor blindly. Not even Warren Buffett. This unexpected Berkshire selling out completely flushed right through a lot of weak hands. But the fact that it technically got back above the previous low, it created what's called a double bottom. That's a very good technical sign. It tells us that there's a line in the sand here. If we can get above 115 area, that's going to be a significant upside available before we start heading into some of these resistant levels. Once the streak of negative news dies down and positive ones claim their place, I believe there could be significant upside for shares. Based on my analysis, this should be right around the corner. Simply a re-rating that restores the company's valuation to its peer group described could result in an upside of 30 to 40 percent. Snowflake shares experienced significant correction in 2024, resulting from a delay in revenue growth, reacceleration, decreasing margins, rising competitive threats, and rich valuation. Looking at these threats in more detail reveals to me that none of them should hinder the company's growth turnaround over the upcoming quarters. Especially going into next year, that's why I loaded up a bunch of snow stock near its 52-week lows.